Welcome to a brief introduction to SketchyCam version 1.4c. This version has some bug fixes and two new major features. Let us look at the change list in the help. If this is your first install of SketchyCam, please make sure to read the After Install Things to Do section. There are a number of default values you need to set to suit your machine. In particular, you must set the min Z and max Z values correctly. Just read and follow the instructions in red. Scroll down on the main help page to see the change list. Apart from the bug fixes, you will notice that the IJ format is now used for all ARCs. This makes ARCs more accurate and also makes Marlin firmware happy since it only accepts IJ format. Two new features have been added in this version. Firstly, a new pocketing routine that can pocket complicated shapes has been implemented. Secondly, two options have been added that affect the laser mode G-code generation. These options enable G-code that is compatible with Gribble version 1.1's new laser modes. Let's look more closely at the advanced pocketing. Pocketing of simple shapes such as this rectangle has been possible for some time. Using the new flood pocketing mode, we can now pocket complicated shapes such as this one. The status bar will tell you what mode is active. Flood mode is activated by the home key. Here are some shapes that are tricky for the old routine. These two shapes are difficult, while the third is possible, but only with vertical zigzags. As you can see, the standard pocket tool refuses to work with the complicated shapes that contain faces, but will attempt the simpler faces, though zigzag direction matters a lot. This vertical zigzag will work, but horizontal will not. Select the pocket tool and press the home key to activate flood mode. A zigzag will immediately fill any shape you move the cursor over. Hold down control and click to insert the offset lines. Release control to insert the zigzag lines. The end key will change the zigzag direction as usual. The zigzag will be in sections. Control Z will undo the insert and the normal SketchUp eraser will also remove them. Let's try another shape. While the old routine works on the third shape with vertical zigzags, horizontal does not work. Flood mode produces a usable horizontal or vertical solution. The sections of zigzag are curves, which means they are easy to select for deletion. The second major addition is support for Gribble 1.1's new laser control mode. This mode uses the M4 code to enable scaling the laser power according to the acceleration of the head. M3 will turn the laser on and off without scaling. In both modes the laser will only power up while the machine is in motion. The text for the laser option on the parameters dialog box will change to indicate which options you have chosen. The text indicates the gribble mode is active by inserting the text GRBL in the caption. If power control is also active, then PWM is added to the caption. Use the Tools, Flatboys, Options, Whole Feature Options dialog to change the laser mode options. These settings are saved and will be used for new drawing files. Please read the Gribble wiki linked here for the details on using the new laser control modes.
Please make sure you read all the help. The help contains hints and tips on using Sketchycam that can really make life easier for you.